Hello, my name is Flora Anna Buda and I'm coming from Budapest, Hungary. And I'm here uh, with the film Anthropia, which was my graduation film and uh, it's an animated short, 10 minutes long. Hello, welcome to the 33rd Teddy Award. I'm John Borbobak, and today we're going to discuss the short animation movie Entropia with director Laura Anna Buda. Hello. Hi, welcome to the festival. It's really great to uh, have you here. Thank you. So, in this short animation film, um, we encounter three very different women in three very different worlds, I would say. Um, can you tell us a bit more about, about these characters and the specific world, world they, they yeah, exist sure, in? Sure. Well, uh, when I started writing this story, um, I was kind of searching myself. So I, I wanted to define a young woman somehow. But since um, I believe it's impossible to tell uh, about one personality in one level, mm -hmm. yeah. so I wanted to divide it three because that was the most honest way that I could uh, describe uh, yeah. myself. And, um, and I was hoping that other people will also um, feel something about it. Yeah. So the, the three different angle is, um, well, I don't want to spoil anything, but uh, yeah, sure. I mean, so I, I won't go that deep into the topic, but, uh, but um, I, would, I would like to show um, like, um, one one uh, angle from uh, from um, uh, like a point of view where I try to fit in society. Mm -hmm. There is yeah. one angle where where, where uh, I'm a wild animal. Yeah. And uh, there is one uh, meta level, which is like in in the head. Yeah. So that that was the concept. Okay, so it's basically three different angles on one whole yeah. personality. <laughs> That's the point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Um, that's very interesting because then it sounds like that it's a very personal project um, for you. Yeah. Um, and somehow at a very um, peculiar level it becomes also somewhat political uh, about talking about um, femalehood and talking about um, sexuality um, and representation of bodies, which is again a very interesting topic, especially because we see it in animation. Um, so, do you wanna um, tell us a bit more about your approach to the representation of femininity and female sexuality in, in the film? Yeah, it was not um, it was not my intention to mm. to put this topic into this yeah. story. It just happen because thing, yeah. if you're honest about the, the, the facts that you're interested in and the, the problems you have, it's uh, accidentally uh, become, I think, political because yeah. we are all living in a, in a society and we all have sim uh, similar problems and, uh, and right. that was my intention and I was hoping yeah. uh, about it. Yeah, yeah. Like I see. Um, one aspect of the film um, that really strike me is that the whole soundscape of it, it sort of gives a whole different dimension or it gives a new texture to the, to the whole film. Uh, can you tell us a bit about yeah, the sound of the movie? Sound? Yeah. Uh, it's a pity that the sound designer is not here. He's super yeah. talented. Well, um, the sound was one, one uh, uh, tool for me to connect the three words. And uh, I was working with a musician called Gergely Matos, mm -hmm. and uh, he also has a band. 
and that's how I, I met him actually in the festival. Right. I really like uh, what he does, so I wanted him to compose. Like, um, I wanted him to make the sound design also a bit musical, and uh, he did. I think he did a great job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah because there is this um, <coughs> rhythmic dissonance almost in mm -hmm. the film. We go from very meditative um, parts to completely wild and, and, and crazy ones. Um, is it something that reflects somehow this inner conflict of, of, of this course, very complex? Yes, yes, sure. And also, yeah. uh, I think it's good for the dramaturgy uh, that it like, gain uh, a bit uh, tense in, like, in tension. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. That was, the, that was, the, mm -hmm. yeah. That was my intention. Um, there is this symbol of the fly mm -hmm. in the film. Um, and I was wondering how did that come about and what, what does it exactly symbolize mm -hmm. for you? Well, um, it's, this film is inspired by two dreams of mine. Okay. In one dream, uh, there was a giant uh, worm you can see in the film. Yeah. And um, I really wanted to put that giant worm in the film because it was, I was thinking that it's like representing some kind of power on me. Mm -hmm. And um, and so I started thinking, how can I apply this big worm into all the universes? Because it has to be connected. So with with my dramaturg uh, Jofia Rutke, uh, we made up uh, this idea that maybe it could be the fly who who makes the worm, and it, it could fly through the whole uh, three universes. Yeah. It's, it's going to be kind of a storyteller, like. He, like he it, it causes the the bugs, it causes the problem, yeah. and, uh, and because of that fly, uh, the the bird can collapse and they can meet. Yeah. Some kind of um, yeah. Shoot. All right. Yeah. So it all sort of came out of a dream. Yes. So that's because it has also quite a dreamy yeah. uh, aspect of the film, and I and I also think that um, it plays with with the notion of imagination. Mm -hmm in a way, um, maybe for the audience, but maybe also for, um, for this character and these different aspects of, of that one character. Mm -hmm. um, did you think consciously about opening up this imaginative space where people can sort of project maybe themselves into? Um, it, the whole process at the beginning was very intuitive. I think it's normal. Mm -hmm. yeah. And of course, uh, after a while, I had to organize it somehow. But um, I really like to keep uh, keep it open. Yeah. And I really like to, to leave space for the imagination. Mm. And um, so far, I was talking uh, about it, about the film with a couple of people. Yeah. And uh, usually, they understand the, the whole basic concept. But uh, there are very nice uh, little differences how, how people interpret uh, the film. And I really enjoy that. Yeah. Because it's not that big. not. Uh, so different from my intention, mm -hmm. but it just uh, adds uh, some other layers I didn't think about. Yeah, um, you use a lot of neon-like colors um, in the film, and it's especially prominent in the ending when when these um, three um, women come together uh, in that collapsed mm -hmm. universe. Um, I was wondering what what did these colors mean and why did you choose exactly these very vibrant mm -hmm. neon-like I think uh, these kind of colors can be like violent for me mm -hmm. yeah. but in the same time it's it's really good to uh, show this ecstatic uh, state of mind yeah. like a, like a hallucination a little bit yeah almost and yeah. because uh, um, the first um, the, the main motivation for me was to talk about that that uh, particular feeling when you when you feel complete Mm -hmm. And it's it's it won't last forever, you know that. Yeah. But that that moment is ecstatic. It's it's wonderful, and I ha I wanted to make it crazy, like mm. how how I feel uh, when I feel complete. Yeah. Right. Um, in a way, the film has a, or at least I thought that it has a, a queer gaze kind mm -hmm. of. Um, it uh, it brings up. Um, sexual tensions, especially related to femininity, mm -hmm. and uh, how it is rendered throughout the movie 
and through these different patterns and the different uh, sounds and colors that you use, it seems like that it kind of challenges this notion of passive female sexuality and it provided a lot of agency to this, to this character. Um, and I don't know what, what you have to say about that, if, if you would even consider it as a, as a queer movie in, mm -hmm. in some ways. Well, um, I wouldn't consider it as a queer movie, mm -hmm. but um, I wanted to talk about acceptance, like self-acceptance, right. which is, I think, for everyone. It's a very important yeah. thing for everyone. So, yeah. yes, I, was, I wanted to talk to everyone. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it definitely worked out very well. <laughs> and, and I don't mind the queer layer at all. I mean, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably I, I would say that there is uh, quite a, a nice queer reading to it as well. <laughs> yeah, you can, you can yeah. read it that way, yeah. Yeah. but it was not intentional. Yeah, not yeah. intentional. All right, well, thank you so much for the interview. Thank you I so much. I wish you all the best for the much. Berlinale, and we will see each other very soon, I hope. I hope so. <laughs>